As many of us work from home, the question of how important is your workspace constantly arises. My name is Matt Zeffi, and in this episode, I'm doing a quick overview of my minimalist desk setup. Stay tuned. So it's important to note that you can get the nicest desk in the world, but it won't do the work for you. I've been using this desk for about one year, and honestly, I think it's improved my workflow and just work environment in general. One really fantastic part about this desk is the fact that it is a standing desk. I don't like to sit all the time, so being able to stand some of the time as well is a really great feature. On top of the motorized legs is this IKEA kitchen countertop. They're fairly inexpensive and you could swap it out at any time. I love the ultra wide monitor on this desk because it looks like it has this levitating effect and the monitor itself provides really fantastic screen real estate. This monitor is only HD, but it has incredibly accurate colors, which is a big selling point when I was purchasing it. For keyboard and mouse, I have Logitech's Master Series. One of the biggest reasons that I purchased these was the ability to switch between three Bluetooth devices. For sound, I always have headphones on my desk, which I use about 80% of the time. The headphones I'm using are the AKG 553 Pro. They sound absolutely incredible. A great option for video editors. Just to the right of that is the Rode NT-USB. Provides great sound. I use it for YouTube videos, voiceovers, podcasts, and even sometimes during video chats. On the left side of my desk, I drilled this small hole for a USB hub. This is great because it has a headphone port and a microphone port. It also has USB-A and USB-C options, so I use this pretty much all the time. Also on the left of my desk, I installed this touch sensitive button that turns on the LEDs in the back of my desk. Last but not least, I have to focus on cable management, which you guys have probably already noticed. I'm very serious about my cable management. I actually put this pipe in the wall that goes into a vented closet. And this is where I have my PC build, which basically gets all of the wiring, the fan noise and everything out of the office space. That's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this workspace overview. If you got anything out of this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I will be leaving the links to everything in the description down below, some of which are affiliate links, so they do help the channel. But thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.